Thanksgiving morning. The fall decorations may be out, but it's already in like probably the mid 90s. The day is just getting started, it's full humidity. I think the real feel is going to be about 107 today. As much as I love fall, it feels a little too early for this. I heard the menu at uh, Tony's Town Square has been updated. I don't know if it's, it's notorious for being like one of the worst restaurants to eat in on property, or at least in the Magic Kingdom. I wonder if it's good now. I'm, I'm not gonna chance it. If it's good, let me know, maybe I'll check it out, but I'm not gonna be the guinea pig for it. <laughs> I got Stouffer's at home, man. Confectionery's been updated, obviously. A lot more room now, I kind of like it. And you can watch what they're making and everything. $13.99 for toppings. Oh, they got a picture of Snickers and Forrest, which is the worst of candy bars they got right there. A candy bar right there. I wonder where you really guys checked out this area, but they got. The, what is it Ethel, Ethel Mars and Frank Mars, founders of the Mars Candy Company. A lot of cool little old vintage candy bar boxes and advertisements back there. It's pretty cool. I mean, the popcorn must somebody must be loving it because usually you can't get back here. It's always packed. I'm always a sucker for any twenty thousand eight hundred C merch. I'm gonna be getting a lot of takers on sweatshirts today. Some of this orange bird stuff's pretty banging. I don't know what I'd do with that metal plate. I'm sure we we'll find something for it. Put some cups over here. That was pretty sweet. They got the, uh, the vintage map here for $7.99. I know people selling knockoffs, so that's all they were online. I can get a legit one. Sweet. Well, that was odd. I don't, for those who use the dash system, and for an annual pass holder, it expires. I think every. I don't know, 60 days or something like that. Usually you just gotta guest services and just have it reset. And you just walk up and say, hey, my desk needs to be renewed. And they got no problem. You know, they even hook you up with a, a time to ride or another attraction for you if you want. And apparently they're claiming that the policy has changed and now they have to re-ask the question to for why you need to dash again. Uh, even though it's already in the system, even though your picture's already in the system, your name's already in the system. And I said, oh, I was just wondering, that's odd. I've had this dash since dash started and, and GAC went away. And uh, they told me it was something that just started this year, which is interesting considering I live right next to the Magic Kingdom and I come here a lot and I've had it renewed all the time. Nobody's ever asked me. So maybe it's a new policy that's in place. I mean, I'd still, I'm still eligible, so I, that doesn't matter. But if you use a DAS system and you're an annual pass holder getting it renewed, you may have to go through the motions of telling them why you need it over again. Uh, which should already be in the system, but I don't know. Maybe it was a one-off cash member that didn't know, but they, they claim the policy started this year. I don't think so. I often wonder if Swift Family Robinson became like an Omni Mover attraction and didn't have to walk through Because like some people walk through it and they're like, well, that's it? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a walk through treehouse. But like, if it had a ride system to it, would more people go on it? Or, I mean, it would kind of defeat the whole purpose of a treehouse. But when you hear people come off and say, that's it? Like, like they were getting in line for something or that there was supposed to be some kind of ride at the end of the, of the tunnel, it just kind of makes you think, 
could they build anything like this today? I mean, Moana is going to be an all-walkthrough attraction, so I guess that holds water. But if you do ever happen to be here and this switchback is filled, just do yourself a favor and leave, because that's going to be in the park. It's severely crowded. I don't think I've ever seen it actually filled up. Maybe they don't even use it anymore, I don't know. But I imagine if you're waiting in line for a ride, it's basically a line. It's gotta be pretty bad. I love Swiss Family Robinson though. I hope they keep it. But I mean, don't get me wrong, as much as I love the Swiss Family Robinson movie, if they wanted to put the matter in here, I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. Okay. What do you guys think? You think these are the best crappers in the park? I know my, I got my preference spot. But since these have been built, they're pretty much hailed as like the spot for restrooms in Magic Kingdom. They get a little traffic, so. What do you think? Top picks? What are your top picks? I can tell you my number one spot is very close to here. But it's not tangled. But it's very close. I think that bell means it's time for me to get ready to roll out of here. The luxury of living very close at the end of the morning before it gets ungodly hot. It's already ungodly hot. <laughs> Let it get out before the rain comes in this time of season. Then maybe dip back in depending, you know, what parks are still open. And if I feel like dying and I'm suffering a lot. Humidity or not, but if you can dip down in the 70s, you get a good enough storm that comes through. And then the lines are sweet for the rest of the night, so it's getting to be that time. If there is one ride I haven't been on in well over a decade, that I got a return time to go on. And, uh, I don't even know if I'll fit in a ride vehicle, to be honest with you, but I'll. Believe it or not, the last time I rode to Marland Speedway, I probably had all my appendages. Is that the right word? Limbs? If you know, you know. If you know. If you know. This has to be one of the worst CM jobs. I just sit down in the seat all day. Huffing in two stroke fumes, have people crash into your ankles. It's gotta be one of the worst positions. So, what's worse? Listen to these things all day, or load the small world breeds 10 hours a day, listen to that song on loop. I've heard Merchants of Venus is reopened. Just gonna see how many merchants there are. Huh. No merchants. There's some pretty cool posters on the wall though. And it does feel good. It feels great in here. You know what? Screw the merchants, the AC is where it's at. Pork cheese factory. Where it's made and the rides are where it's collected. But you know what? It's so hot out, I might even risk it. Come on! Oh yeah! I was say, get the all white sterile Tomorrowland back. I'm having a lot of that 94 overlay stuff removed. This actually, the exception of a few things. I'm digging it, man. Going back in time. Past is the future. That's it for me. I'm heading out. 
It's getting very hot out, very crowded. That's my cue to action. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to this at Virtual Disney World uh, for more traction ride videos and stuff. Thanks. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I think I'm very particular and territorial about my cheesesteaks coming from Philly. Well, I wouldn't call necessarily what they have the plaza cheesesteak. It is some sort of steak sandwich, and I have tried it. It's actually not bad. Not any Philly cheesesteak. It's a good steak sandwich.